they have been traumatic experiences for the kids. So I talked to the teacher and said, are you, are you ready to handle that? I understand what they do is they do a take-in with all the kids and try to report their story. They get some first impression of how they're doing also psychologically, uh, how bad the damage is. And, and there's some support from the ministry to, you know, to help the teachers here uh, to, to guide the children. Because some of these children were saying, you know, the roof was blown off and they were scared to death and their father was very nervous. You know, the kids also pick up whether the parents feel in control or not. Well, I think technically they're, you know, the military have done a wonderful job to make sure the schools are technically equipped to do that. And it's my impression, you know, that they will build up the remainder of the issues over the days to come. Um, but there's an underlying damage to society, which always lands in the school. You know, so if, if the parents are out of work, if the income is too low, if the food's not good enough, you know, and then the kids come to school, then the, the teachers will have to deal with that. It's not just a building issue, but there's also other damage. And, uh, you know, if we can be of any help, also as a kingdom, if we can be of any help also on that side, we'll be happy to do that. But the first steps have been taken um, um, by the military and the police and, and everybody else who was giving aid to restore infrastructure. It's just clean water, uh, electricity, safety in the streets, uh, food, healthy food. You know, talk to the doctor of the army base here. You know, that were the first case of people getting stomach problems because the fridges had gone down and the meat had gone that bad. So, you know, that's a sort of first degree help. And the second was to help restore the building so that it could be used again in equipment for schools. And this school was not hit as badly as some of the other schools. So, um, you know, it's, it's uh, good to, to, to bring that back. And then the third level will be to rebuild St. Martin, and ideally we built a better St. Martin, more hurricane resistant, more sustainable in many respects. I have a strong sense of urgency that I think within the next two weeks or so we should agree with the government of St. Martin on a program which will also then be confirmed in a legal context in the Netherlands because I'm somewhat concerned that if a couple of weeks from now at the surface normal life is resumed because the cruise ships come back in American tourists start walking around, and everybody, also in the Netherlands, will think, well, you know, most of it is sold now. So I think it's crucial that now we all stand shoulder to shoulder, we should come up with a, a strong program, a program that has also meets all the conditions required so that we can also, from the Netherlands, contribute to that. And that also involves integrity, it also involves good procedures, um, because there's no way you know, we're just gonna, gonna give a blank check. So we need to, to get that in place within the next two weeks or so. Precisely for the reason you mentioned is that the military, they were trained and their job is to give um, no hope. So, so aid in the first two or three weeks, but not to run the country. So they will need to pull out and to be replaced by civilians. Um, and that will need to happen on short term.